Today we're going to do some mat to warm up. You can lie with your head at that end on your back with your feet here. How are you feeling today? Okay. <laughs> Anything I should know about? Uh, my hamstring's still injured, but it's doing a little better. Okay, so runner's hamstring. Perfect. So let's bend your knees into your chest. Try to keep your sit, and you can hug them, and just keep your sit bones down. And just take a couple nice deep breaths here. Good. Just fill up your back, fill up your waist. Good. So let's place your hands under your hips and just do a little toe tapping. So bring your legs to tabletop, just slightly apart. Your hands are making a little pocket for your pelvis to rest in. You're gonna take your right toe, keep your knee at 90 degrees, tap your toe from your pelvis, bring it back up, and then the left toe. And make sure the whole leg goes from the hip. Good. And make sure the left does the same. There you go. <laughs> and it's okay if it's a little more challenging on one side than the other. Let's add a breath. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale, resist gravity. Exhale, lift. Good. One more time each side. Good. And just hug your knees into your chest with your hands. Take a nice deep breath. Let's bring your legs to diamond legs. That means Heels together, knees soft, put a 100 arms the height of your belly, and just start by pumping your arms up and down, inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the mouth. Nice, vigorous tempo. And we're on that exhale, feeling the abdominals deepening. Lift your head up just a little bit. Do that two more breath cycles, just like that. Really make that connection into your abdominal muscles. Good, one more time. And on your exhale, let's curl the head and shoulders up. We're going to keep the knees soft, but float your diamond away just a little bit. Good. Really make that connection from cubic bone to sternum with your abdomen. Good. Two more breath cycles. Nice, bigger times up and down. Beautiful. One more time. Really strong. Just exhale at the last. And then bend your knees in. Let your head rest. I'm getting knee hot. All right, let's rock up to a seated position. You're going to spin around. Place your feet under the black strap, bring the full roll up. So the legs together, lie all the way down. And hold the weighted bar. Let's have your hands just in armpit distance there. Good. Give that strap a little tug. Good. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, roll all the way up. Round it forward. Good. Inhale, give that strap a little tug. As you exhale, melt your waist, your ribs, your shoulders back. Good. Arms just stop at the ceiling. Inhale, lift. Exhale, peel it up. Really good. Inhale, roll it back. Exhale, resist it back. Good. Let's go five more times. One more float. Inhale, exhale. Round it forward. Pull the weight back. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. So now just warming the body up. Try not to cheat. That's <laughs> all that. It's all legs. Use your elbows. Hug the stretch with your belly. Good. And put this back toward the belly. Two more times. <laughs> Try not to cheat. <laughs> One more time. Good. You don't want to take that bar away from you. If you would kick that strap off, we're going to do a quick little hamstring stretch. Nothing too deep, too soon. You're gonna hold the magic circle with both hands and then put your right foot inside that circle. And let's bend this knee foot flat as well. Good. So extend the leg toward the ceiling and then soften the knee enough so you can feel the sits bone grounded, the hip relaxed. You're gonna give the circle a light little pull towards you, shoulders back, and now try to push the heel toward the sky. Good. Bend the knee just a little. Keep the tension on the circle and try to push the muscles up. Good. Three more times like that. So the circle pulls the leg into the hip as the heel stretches the muscles. Does that make sense? Good. Feels good, right? I hope it does. <laughs> One more time, a little bit, and push it up for two. Four, three. Good. One, uh, let's go the other way.
Good. And then I'll take that circle from you. Good. Let's keep the knees bent, but take a, a walk of the feet slightly forward. Good. And the knees can just lightly tap together. Three to one leg circle. So arms can stay along by your sides. Let's extend the right leg up with a soft knee. Right? So your hips but your sits bones stay steady. You're gonna go across toward knee, open and back to center. Good. Keep that going without rocking the pelvis. Remember, you feel the abdominals deepen to bring the leg around. Two more. Good. And then reverse it. Six and reverse. And think navel in and pull up. And navel in, pull up for four. Just easy breaths here. Good. Bend that knee to your chest. And switch legs. Think soft knee. Sits bones around the ooh, that's empty, a little tighter, right? And let's go across the abdominals, even around and up, right? It's a squeeze and then a scoop around. So many interesting things going on. <laughs> like, we're can't lose you guys. This one. It just looks like, oh no. One more time, no problem. And let's reverse it. Try to find the inner thigh and the belly button. Inner thigh, and there you go, a little better there. Good, one more. And then bend that knee to your chest, give it a good squeeze. Good, hug both knees in, let's rock up to a seated position. We're gonna arrange a rolling like a ball, so just float your feet up. Knees open slightly, and go ahead and take it around forward in the chest. Then you're gonna roll to your shoulders, and then rise back up. Keep the heels right as they are. Hold them in a little, and roll. You can actually hold your thighs, that's fine. So I want you to find that really good abdominal scoop to roll up and roll. <laughs> Four more times. I want you to imagine that your back is like a, a rolling pin, right? Roll the mat up. Roll the mat. Lovely. Two more. You can use your shoulders a little. Good. And as you come up, just balance for a second. Take a breath. Take both hands around the right knee. You're going to send your left foot over the bar if you can. Now roll back just the tip of your shoulder blade. Stay and switch right into double or single leg stretch and switch. And switch, good. And switch. Try to find the back of the leg that press, press, good. And pick up the pace for four. And three, beautiful. Nice, keep scoop in the belly. And then bend your knees, let your head rest. Go ahead and slide toward your head an inch or two, so a little more space. And it doesn't really help though, because your arms are going to be, Cadillac should be an inch longer. <laughs> Let's do a double leg stretch. Pull the knees into your chest, curl the head and shoulders up. Arms go by your ears, legs to the silver bar for double leg. Open the arms, circle them around, bend your knees up and inhale, reach. Exhale, and good. Good, and as you reach, lift a little. Exhale around, four more times. Reach, lift a little. Exhale around, beautiful. Good, last one. And bend your knees into hug. So we do hamstring, or uh, single, <laughs> we do scissors. Yeah. And send your legs to the ceiling, keep your head down. Both hands are on the right thigh, knees a little bit soft. You're going to pull the right leg twice in, left leg floats out a little, pull, pull, switch. Keep both knees a little bit soft. So you're working the abdominals more than the legs. Good. Curl the head and shoulders up. Let's go up to the calf, a little straighter leg, pull, pull. Make the leg give yourself a little resistance. That's tough, huh? Third. <laughs> Two, good. And bend your knees in, rest your head. Good. Let's go hands under your hips again. Good. Diamond leg, so heels together, knees open and soft. Let's curl the head and shoulders up, and lift the legs out for two, and lift on one. Good. Press them to me now. Scoop and lift to you. Good. Keep it soft for me, so we really find that lower belly. Good. Lift that bladder up. <laughs> Only three more times. Find that lower belly. And pop. Hips are heavy. Makes it fun that way, right? One more time. And rest them down. We'll take the hands behind the head. Take a giant breath for the crisscross. So today, we're going to bring the legs to tabletop. So curl the head and shoulders up. Twist to your right knee. It's going to stay bent. Left leg's going to go out. Now stay here. Keep tabletop. Now pull up your leg a little bit. Curl to it and switch. Good. Pull a little. Pull to up and switch. Keep alternating. Right, the knee is at tabletop, but it still has pull. It stops at pull. It's good. And pick up the pace. For four. Pull. Mm, pull. Good. Two more. And rest it down. 
Great job. <laughs> Rock up to a seated position. Let's place your feet against the vertical poles. Your knees can stay very soft. First spine stretch forward. And if having your heels on the poles is too much, you can step your heels away a little bit. So let's inhale and grow tall. Exhale, round your spine forward. Just enjoy growing all the air out. Good. Inhale, come back up. Good. And exhale, really reach forward. Reach, reach, reach. Good. Inhale, back up. Now take a lift up through your spine. Do it two more times. Exhale. And inhale. your arms for just a second. Shake your legs out and we're just going to do the saw. Um, I think for the saw, I'm going to have you go ahead and sit up on the box. Let's go ahead and hop off for a Sit up here. A little higher than you need, but that's what we got. So heels out in front of you, knees soft. You'll be sitting somewhat on the edge of the box. Take your arms out wide. Arms slightly forward. If you can see them in your periphery, take an inhale. As you exhale, twist toward the right. Saw off your pinky toe, and let's just stay there, beautiful. And just reach and reach back, and then come back up to the center, grow tall, switch sides. Good. Get down, reach forward, and back up. Get a little quicker, and reach for two, for three, and a lift. Right, right hip goes down, right arm goes forward, and up. Good, left arm goes forward, left hip pulls down. Good. And one more step. I guess we start on the right. So now one more step. <laughs> Create opposition and stretch. Good. Last one. Great job. Come up to center and rest your arms. All right, Lisa. So next is reformer. So if you would lie down, head and headrest, feet on the bar. And our first position will be heels together and toes apart on the balls of the feet. Arms long by your sides. Just take a moment to center yourself in the carriage, settle your body, and then when you're ready, high heels, press the carriage all the way up, and resist it up. Do a couple slow to really make connection. And then begin to pick up the pace, so it's zip, and then resist, and a zip, and resist, beautiful. Move your feelings just smooth and steady. Warm. Again, let's stay in. Let's down to your arches, feet, knees together, soft toes, and then you're going to press all the way out. A couple slow. Really make that connection and find that inner thigh pose and lift forward. Do you feel like you could walk your feet closer to your heels or would that be uncomfortable? Good. And toes slightly forward. Good. And then pick up the pace. And we're just trying to relax the toes. Let the fronts of the legs lengthen. And three more. Up and Good. And as you come in, let's go on to your heels. All ten toes up. You're going to lift those little pinky toes and press out. Scoop the center and resist in pinky toes nice and wide. Good. And feel that moment where you really feel that compression and then deep and then last two. Good. And come all the way in. Let's go to the balls of the feet. We stay parallel and together. Press out to stay. High heels to start. Abdominals in. Lower the heels halfway down and then lift two, three. Halfway down and lift two, three. Keep that going. And then stabilize from ankle, knee to hip. Resist and lift. Three more times. Resist and lift. Go. Good. One more time. Bend your knees to come all the way. We did the ones under the mat, so we're going to skip that today, just for time. We won't always do that, though. <laughs> So we're going to do short spine massage next, and uh, we haven't done this a whole lot, so if you just flip your headrest flat. 
I'm going to just reach back and just tempo. Okay. And I'm going to lighten your strings up before you get your strings. straps on your feet and it's going to start the same way we do front. <laughs> sides to the mat, legs to the silver bar here. Open the legs as wide as the, the pole, bring them back together, and then bend your knees, and then bend your elbows. Good. Stay curled up if you can. Now palms to the mat, legs out. Good. Open and close the legs. Squeeze the knees in. Squeeze the elbows in. Let's have a breath. Inhale, everything out. Hold it. Open, close. Exhale, bend knees, bend elbows. Two more times. Inhale. Open symmetrically, close. Exhale, knees. Exhale, bend elbows. One more time. It's a deepening and an even more deepening rest. Good job, not the straps in the well. You would step up to the side. Grab this box. Okay, let's come onto your belly with the head over the headrest. We're just gonna do a little hamstring warm up since we need it. So your chest could be on the box, hands resting on the carriage. And then I'm going to plop one hand below the magic circle under your butt cheek. You're going to find it with your heel bones. You're going to try to find heel bones settled under the sits bones. Does that work for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the fronts of the hips are trying to find the box. Abdominals lifted. You're ever so lightly just going to compress the spring. Breathe the seat open. Good. Keep that going. Compress. Scoop. All right, so every time you engage the hamstring, your thumb will scoop to stabilize the pelvis. Three more. Good. Beautiful. Now hug the circle, hold it, feel the scoop of your belly. Little tiny pulses. In, 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 in. Five, four, three, two, one. And then switch the legs. I'll, I'll do the switching today until you have a little more practice. So we're going to find that sits bone, feel the sits bone. You're going to neurologically just make that connection for a second. You got it? Okay. Abdominals are scooped. And then when you're ready, you're going to give it this just enough pull to feel the belly of the muscle compress. Good. Try to keep a good connection of the hips to the box. Three more times. And today it's not really about squeezing the circle, it's about finding that efficient use of that hamstring. Good. Now on the next one, stabilize your hips, scoop your belly, and little pulses in. In, 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 in. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. I'll take that circle out and just let your legs stretch out there for a second. Great. You're going to lighten your springs up. You're 
wind up pulling straps. So go ahead and grab the leather straps from the wheel. Pull, take them outside the rear corner and let's hold on to the silver buttons. And the legs can be slightly apart here, so hips can really ground knuckles to the floor. Pull the arms all the way back by your side. Roll the shoulders back, just a slight lift of the chest. Resist the springs back in, lower the body. Three more times, knuckles to the floor. Knuckles to the floor, good. And then this should be connected here. Good, one more time, go down to come back. And then raise. Good. Now slide your hands so they're almost at the end of the leather. Yep, yep. You can be above the metal though. Open your arms out to a T. Let your head lower a little. Your chest come down. Good. So pull the shoulder blades back. Now pull the arms to your hips here. Lift the chest so slightly. Open the arms and lower like the raise. Good. You're going to try to initiate the palms gaze down. Pull back. Breathe this. Now arms get wide. Two more scoop first. Good. Wait, pinky finger to hip. Good. A little harder, right? Good. Open the arms and let those straps go into the well. Okay. Step off to the right. Carefully. <laughs> and if you would turn that box, and so the long edge is against the shoulder box. The center. And then go ahead and pop up on the box with your feet under the box. So you can be slightly forward in the box. I like the box can hit you about high thigh there. Legs should be able to be slightly apart because of that. Good. Wrap your arms around your belly. Now the arms are like the abdominals. They hug in, the abdominals hug in, curl the tail under, and roll the pelvis back. Scoop, and then round up the arms and come forward. Part way, good. Right away, roll it back. Round over the arms and come back. Okay, just three more. Inhale if you can. Feedback's out here. Helps you come back. Great job on the legs there. Right, and if you would take that wooden bar and it'll fold it up toward the horizontal bars and sit up really tall. Now pull the legs into their hips and hinge back. Two more, come back up, stay tall, tall, have a seat for a second. Good, do it here. Up, hinge it back, feet. Two, four, and come back up, and have a sit. Just two more times. So let's go arms first. Ooh, that feels so much better. And come back up, and sit. One more time, come up, arms first, gaze forward, and wrap the arms for just a second. Let's do a side to side, so arms up today. Pitch slightly forward. And like you did in the saw, well, you're going to side bend right and keep the left hip really grounded. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. So it's like the saw in the sense of you're going to side bend right. Oh, side bend. Okay. Sorry. Good. Back up to center. Side bend left. Slightly pitch forward, though. Good. So what happens is you go here. Good. Back to center. And again, slightly forward. Two, three. And back to center. One more time. Good. Back to center. Sit nice and tall. Twist to the right. Go for the twist. Now reach on the diagonal. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up. Yeah. So you're gonna twist toward me. Reach toward me and come back up. Twist right. Anchor the hip and reach and back up. Good. Slice right to me. Right to me. Good. And back up. Now same on the other side. Slice right from the center. Good. Back up and one more time to me. And back up, rest your arms. I'm going to take the bar. Now let's go ahead and do our tree. So bring the legs together. And then bring the right hand, leg into your hands. Up uh, without the strap. Uh, and then slide back so you still have tension on this foot. Sit up nice and tall first. Hold behind the thigh. And kick the silver bar three times. Okay. Once you try to stay sitting tall, this is just best effort, right? <laughs> Good. Now remember last time we used the circles. We're going to place a circle over the foot. Hold the circle with both hands. Elbows and shoulders back. You're going to try to now straighten the leg. Arms are no longer this nice thing. Do that twice more. 
foot, and then stay here with your leg out. Now a little tension on the circle, we're gonna to start to roll back. Use the strap. So you can roll that left hip back as well. And then press the circle and pull yourself back up. You can start a little further back if you want. Follow up back with it. As you roll back, take the leg with you, lift it up. Good. And And one more time. And your job is to try to keep the hips square. Good. And back up. I'm going to take that from you. Go ahead and switch legs. Let's sit nice and tall. <clears throat> and let's kick the silver bar four times. Three or four times. circle like we did earlier to really help the legs stay in the socket and get the stretch for the muscles. Beautiful. One more time. This time we'll keep the legs straight, chin to chest, and start to roll back as you try to square up the hips on the bar. And then back up. Good. And try to take the leg with you if you can. If not, don't pull this leg out. And it'll help with getting that sits bone going out the window. Side sit ups, turn onto your left hip, place your left hand in the headrest. Turn all the way onto the side hip. Good. Now your bottom foot can hook behind your calf or your leg, or it can also bend and stay on the bar. Okay. So pull the strap towards you and push the heel away from you. Bring your top hand behind your head. Feel a sense of lift. Bring the bottom hand behind your head. And you're going to go all the way to the headrest, all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, and you can come over. Exhale to lift. One more time. Just try to keep the hips nice and straight. Navel to spine. All right, exhale. Two more. Reach. And lift. Good. One more time. Good. Stay up. Now lower to the bag. No, I take a little twist to the floor. Very smooth. Twist to the side. Three times. Twist. 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 Two. One. Good. Elbow to the headrest. Get a nice lovely side stretch now. So top arm can go overhead. Push this heel down. And we'll switch sides. So take a moment just to find your position, hips are stacked, top hand behind your head, eyeballs are past the wall, right? So you're looking through the wall, bottom hand comes up, and we're going all the way to the head first. Ooh, all the way up. <laughs> Keep that going. And yes, you want to let those muscles lengthen and then contract. Four more times. Lengthen. Good. Smaller muscles here. Two more. We'll do that. Reach. And pull. Navel to spine. That will help. Good. Now find your diagonal. Stay. Make yourself taller and longer. A little twist to the floor. A little twist to the sky. Small. Now toward me. Ah. Good. Three more. Ah. Two. One more time. You got it. Lift. And elbow to the head rest. Take a side stretch there. Good. Actively reach the arm. Actively push this heel away. Lovely. And then go ahead and come on up with yourself. Go ahead and step off carefully. You can just take the box away. I'm going to go into the long stretch. And if you get the sticky pad out of that crate there. <laughs> so you're going to very gracefully step into the push-up position. Balls of the feet in the crease of the head.
come up to a push-up position, bring the body weight slightly forward over the bar, good. And when you're ready, you're gonna push the carriage up with your arms, stay in the plank. Oh, there's one of legs, pull yourself back in. Beautiful, arms stay straight. One more time, in and in. exhale, abdominals pull you in, beautiful. Now, abdominals pull the body through the arms. Last two wrists, okay, sorry. <laughs> One more time. It's my hair. Good. Now stay in, lower your feet, and step back for elephant. You're going to drop your head. Stand up on flat feet, heels to the shoulder blocks. Good. Now let's take a second to let your head fall through your arms. Find weight in your heels, and lift your toes up. We'll see. Let's do a few here. You're going to press up with your heel, and then pull in and up with your heel. Heels push up, abdominals pull your feet in. Beautiful. One more time. In, in, up, up. And you're going to go for a stretch push and just keep melting. And relax. You're going to get too much. My calves are so tight. Good. Stay in. Let's go up to the balls of your feet. Heels high in the shoulder blocks. And you're going to step back. You're going to have your heels down. Good. Now try to keep the hips in parallel. Send your right leg back so your hips are still level. So a lot of bar extended the length low. And then we're ready to push out with the one leg and then pull in, two, three. Good, <laughs> hips still stay square though. Push, arms stay strong. Good, two more, carriage in, leg in, lift the weight. So that the obliques you just found inside sit up, try to use those. So one more time, lift the knee cap, lift the spine muscle and stretch the leg. Do a little quicker. Out, not in. Not too far away. Good. Out. Now lift up, up, up. Good. I would rather have you hit the stop rather than not come in. Good. Last two. Lift the belly. One more. Lower the foot. And let's carefully step down. Good job. All right. We're going to go into stomach massage. Seat at the front of the sticky pad, your feet will go to the wood, wood platform there. You're going to sit about halfway up on that sticky pad, and then the feet will come up to balls of the feet heels together, pulls apart, pull the front of the carriage. Good. Pull the abdominals back, round your body forward. You're going to press the carriage all the way out. You're going to lower the heels once, lift them up, resist the carriage in, bend the knee. Good. From your abdominals, press our left leg, lower the heel. Three more times. Low. And pull. And I can press out a little bit. And pull. Last two. Up. Down. Good. Come all the way in. Rest your feet. Reach down to the springs. Let's take off one right spring. Good. You're going to reach back for the shoulder blocks. If you can't, if not, the hands can go to the carriage for sure. Feet back, same position, same action. Lift the chest, but keep your bum tucked under. Abdominals take you up, lower once, lift once. Lift the legs, sorry. Lower, lift, chest is up. We're really getting a full stretch, so the tail is tucking and that's lengthening. The chest, upper spine is lifting and that lengthens. You're getting this lovely stretch. Three more. You are getting this lovely <laughs> stretch. Low, lift, and come back in. One more. As you come in, you're going to rest your feet, reach down, take off the red spring. And then bring your feet back up. This time, arms reach out to the shoulder blocks, high heels, and you're going to press out, lift the upper spine, and come back in. Two, three. Make sure you keep your fingertips on the bar. And you got three more. Okay, relax the hips a little bit. <laughs> Come and let your feet rest. Let's get for just a hair. And then move into the twist. So feet back to the bar. We'll do a couple to review. Arms forward. So as you press out, you're going to open the right arm and look past it to the right. As you press out, as you come in, both arms come forward. As you press out, you open the left. Good. So the simultaneous press twist. Good. I'm going to push in with the opposite twist. And then one more set of low out. And in, lift, left one. Okay, let's 
step off to the side and lift off that sticky pad back. That would be great. So next exercise is just some tricep dips. So we're going to sit on the chair facing, or the reformer facing the camera. Slide your hips off and step your feet forward. Let's have your hips pretty close to the frame though. And you're going to brush the frame as you bend your elbows and then press them back. Good. Now as you bend the elbows, squeeze them back. One more time, just more squeeze of the elbows than dipping down. And you're just really trying to get a lot of energy back here in these upper arms. Just one more time, squeeze. <laughs> and then have a seat, shake it out. You can step off, very fun. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, now, and then lie down. If you would add on, let's see what are we on? <laughs> take uh, add on our two reds and take off the blue and the yellow. Not much for that setting. But <laughs> All right, you can lie down, head and headrest. We're gonna move into some feet and stretch. Together, settle your hips, your pelvis, and then when you're ready, hug the heels, press the hair edges out. See the straps above the block, release the sternum. Good. Press it up. Release. Lovely. Keep that going. Let's make sure that the pelvis is the priority, it's stability. And then you can focus on the legs. Good. Three more times. Squeeze the legs together. Release. Let's press the legs out to stay. You could open your legs as wide as your hips, parallel to your bottom, give you the circle. So all 10 toes should be to the sky. Please adjust the circle if you feel like it's not comfortable. We're just gonna hold the circle steady. You're gonna start to float your legs up toward 90 degrees. Pause if you feel you can't keep your sits bones down and then press the circle back toward the silver bar. Great. Hold the circle, lift up. Two, so the sits bones are ready and lower the back. Good. Three more times like that. You can press far enough to where the straps are about an inch above the block. All ten toes. Handles are all stable. Good. So much to do, right? <laughs> Bigger thighs don't like to do that. <laughs> As you press out this time, let's stay there just for fun. Toes stay up, but bend your knees. They're going to go inside the straps. Good. And then just press back out. We'll add a little variation. So as you hug, you just brush the insides. Now hug the circle and press out. Let the circle open, bend in, resist by brushing the straps. Hug and press out. Two more times. Good. Keep that work in your pelvis. Good. And then press out to stay. I'm going to take the circle so your legs can just come together. And now we'll do some circles. So you're going to float the legs up toward 90. Open. And then press. Oh, good. Keep that going. Go for the flow. With the energy of the circle still in your legs, hips, and abdominals, but not too wide just now. Good. Three more times with a little more flow. And press. And press. And then reverse it. Legs together. Open. Legs come fully together. And then they open. Good. Three more times. And then bend your knees in, keep your heels together with your knees open. You're gonna hold on to the black straps and actually pull them towards you. Nice stretch. Oh, signal. <laughs> now let's try. 
try, let's, say, let's go with the left leg. Open the left leg toward the side and see how it will be. And hold on to the strap. Actually holding the leg in the socket. Okay, now let's turn the toe out a little. And let's switch sides. Let's just see how the right leg goes. If it doesn't want to do it today, we don't want to force it. Start less. Less is more to start, right? Let's start today. So let's bend it in and just work on relaxing the hips here, especially that right hip. Take two deep breaths. Good. You can slide those straps off and slide them into the well. Bring yourself in. And the foot bar is here for you still. Good. Here's step off. I'm going to just change that corner a little bit. So we're going to do some knee stretches. Come on back. Hands on the bar. Knees in the carriage. Feet to your shoulder blocks. You're going to sit back so your hips are over your calf muscles or so. Curl the tail under. I'm going to work a really good, deep puff of that tail. Maintain that as you push the carriage out about halfway to my hip, maybe, and then back in. So your knee comes to my hip, and then keep the scoop and pull your knee back in. Good. Do a couple more slow, so really feel that stuff, and then pull. Good. And then pick up the pace. So push, scoop, pull in. Push, scoop, pull in. Good. Now think that you have a circle still between your ankles, so you still feel that hug and hug the bum. As you come in, stay in. Let's stick your tail out and lift your chest now. Still feel the support of the belly and do a couple again. So knee to my imaginary hip vector. Come back in. I want you to really work with sitting back. Stretch those hips. Stretch. Good. So knee stretches. Push. Now pick up the pace. Sit on those heels. Five. Is it burning yet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then come on the way in, stay in, go back to the curl position. Good. Shift your hips slightly forward. You're going to go to knees off. So scoop your belly, lift your knees up two inches. Are your toes okay for that? Mm -hmm. And then push the carriage up. Good. Pull it in. Good. Big. Pull it. Magic circle. Imagine that they're helping you. Pull it in. You got six more. Exhale. Like a jackrabbit. Exhale. Keep it tough. Keep it low. Three. Come on. Two. And come in. Rest your toe. Do it on the two yellow springs. Now that gun head. So the balls of the feet back parallel. Take a second just to center yourself there. Bring the feet very close together. And when you lay it, press the carriage all the way out. Keep your hips quiet while you lower one heel, bend the other knee equal distance. Push and you can feel that nice rhythmic brush on the other side. All the hips stay settled. Center settled. Good. Five more times. Keep the shoulders settled. Good. Lower one heel, bend the other knee now just a little more deeply and sink into it. Go tall to your upper spine as you do that. And sit. Good. And with your heels up, bend your knees to come all the way in. Let's take your feet onto the arches as wide as the black pad for pelvic lift. I'm going to turn the toes out and you can go just a hair wider. Good. From here, you're going to curl the hips up just halfway to about to the bra line. Inhale, press the carriage all the way out. And exhale, raise this. Squeeze in, let your hips relax a little bit. Good. Five more. Inhale out. Really let your ribs melt back. Good. One more. Feel like your belly button pulls you in. Good. One more time. And then we'll stay in and lower the body down. So we'll step off to your left. We'll do front splits, front kneeling splits again today. So last time we did it with the foot on the frame, so we'll stick with that version today, but we'll lay down. Good. 
going to come back into an all fours position, hands on the foot bar, and start with both feet against the shoulder block. Step your right foot up to the in front of your and let's start by bringing the hips forward. And you can definitely tuck your toe in a little bit more. Let's do your typical step as well here. Go ahead and push with your front leg and just melt the hip forward for now. Yeah. Is that okay? Uh-huh. And then stay there, go a little deeper. A little deeper. <laughs> Good. And now the bar is out of your waist already. Huh. I put my hand up now. Grow tall to come back in. Body weight back, so you're on the back knee. Keep your foot there though. Keep the knee bent. Yeah, perfect. And now just take your arms up to the center one at a time if you need to. You can definitely grab the carrot cows if you need to. Good. Now think of hugging the inner thighs together, activate those hips and grow tall. Now take the right hand to the outer thigh here. Press into it for stability and take a side bend toward me. Lifting tall. Abdominals in. A little taller. A little taller. Good. Reach both arms back up. Lower your hands to the foot bar and we'll switch sides. Start with the hips forward. Good. And then push the carrier down. Is that resistance open? Uh huh. And then grow tall. Take your arm back in. Oh, you're going to keep bending those hips. Can you tuck this toe under so the foot has contact, or is that too much? Okay. If not, that's fine. Somebody broke my toe. A broken toe. Somebody broke him things. <laughs> to the ceiling, just shift your weight back slightly, that will help. Good, just go tall. Tall and tall, just bring your left hand out by your left thigh and take a side bend toward the door. Good, try to sit into your left hip, right? So we're sort of lifting, bring those pelvic bones together, up the foot, front and then back, and then sweep left foot. And then lower your hands, <laughs> step off that way, please. I am not laughing at those hands. <laughs> All right, great, let's move into some chair work. So let's do some chair today. You're gonna have a seat facing the doorway there for the footwork. So you're gonna sit at the front of the chair. On the balls of the feet, you're gonna press the chair down and then we'll go heels together, toes apart. Good, right at the front there. So let's go genie arms, knees about shoulder distance, push the chair or the pedal down and raise the sit up tall. So you're gonna keep that way. You're gonna imagine that you're sitting back in an actual chair, so head, shoulders, and hips. We're just gonna soften back ever so slightly, but knees will lower a little bit more. Good, so you actually press from this move. Beautiful. And just pick up the pace. Four, three, two, one. Good, press the pedal down, and let's step onto the arches, feet and knees together, just like footwork on the performer. A little closer to your heels, so you can let your toes and then you lift the pedal up, knees together, and toes stay down. Okay. We're gonna find that sense of lift. Good. Just a nice, brisk tempo. First pull. Two, three, we're down, we're rocking the boat. All right, press the pedal down, let's go into your heels. All 10 toes up, big toes together, pointing forward ish. <laughs> Sit back a little in your body as best you can. Heels resist, that helps you get taller, and push away. Resist, push away. Good, and then pick up the tempo, so there's no rocking, just pull, push, pull, push, pull. Very beautiful. A little bit for me. I like riding a bike. <laughs> Good, and then lift the pillow up halfway, relax your arms for just a second. So we're gonna go back to the balls of the feet, heels together and toes slightly apart. Push the pillow down just slightly there. Go back to genie arms, but do the other arm on top. And then you're going to take, <laughs> <line, laughs> take one leg off and just let it turn out very prettily there. Good. Now slow and steady with that left leg. Pull the heel up. Keep the heel lifted. Good. Pull the heel up. Inhale. Push. Keep the pelvis square. 
kind of a heavy spring for me. This is not that heavy under a whole lot of use. This is just slow and steady. Okay, and then just hold the pedal halfway as you switch it. Soft daisy leg. <laughs> This leg's awesome at pushing. I'll help it find a rigid hip. Hold the hip three deep. There you go, three more times. Good. And then take the feet off very carefully so that the spring's there. You can step off a little bit. Good. So we're going to do a little tendon stretch in the reverse. So hands to the seat. Carefully step off the frame, and one foot is going to press that pedal all the way back. We'll go heels together, toes apart here. Now lift your heels, lift your belly, and let your head fall. You want to make yourself the deepest U shape you can here. Now keep your U shape lower both heels down, but pull the navel up and lift up from the very side of the belly. Now just the heels, they go down two, three, and they lift two, three. They go down two, three, and they lift. We're just staying here just so you don't go away from the hips. Good. It should be a nice stretch. Do it a few more times, rolling hands down. Two, three, and up. Good. Now keep the heels lifted. Walk your hands so they're a little wider. Head's going to stay down. Now lift up so much the carriage or the pedal floats up with you. Keep the thigh now resist it down, but keep the belly where it is. So you're going to lift out abdominals. Now leave the abdominals here and push down on the belly. Good. One more time. Push two, three, and push two, three, and push two, three, and push two. Good. One more time. Good. Lower the pedal. Now step onto your heels. Toes forward, heels two inches apart. Here it goes. <laughs> Shift your body weight slightly forward. Lift the heel or lift the toes up. Lift the pedal up. Now stay there and just pulse the pedal up. Toes lift, belly lift. Ten, nine, eight. Deepen, deepen, deepen. Push down with your heels. Four, three. Dig it in. Two. Good. Float the pedal down with control. Step apart. Now go back to heels together. Toes apart. We're going to do this one leg that I'll walk you through. You're first going to lift the pedal up to stop as high as you can. Very carefully hook right ankle behind the left. Adjust your feet if you need to. Now lower the pedal two inches here. Keep the hips square to the chair. chair. Lower two, lift. Good. Three more times. Push, pull. Push, pull. Good. One more. Keep the pedal up. Try to carefully switch feet. Make sure you're safe and secure before you do the hook. And then push two down. Push, push. 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 Keep the hips square. See you can be open. One more. Put the feet on the pedal together to lower the pedal with control. Good. Put one foot off. Float the pedal up. Close the frame. Stand up taller. Good job. Now, come stepping right against the frame with your toes. And then take a step back. Just kind of a natural stride. Little baby, <laughs> like a mother, not like a like a real step. Yeah. <laughs> Just watch your surroundings there. Good. So we're gonna do the press down. So parallel feet, toes are forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive down. Hands to the pedal. You might feel like you're ever so slightly leaning forward on the heels of your hands. Head turn. Good. Now start to lean in slightly and push the pedal down. Good. Let your body go with it. Head as far as you can. Good. Now lift the belly. Resist. Up. Good. Press down and feel how the, the pedal wants to close. Right? As you lift, you're going to stop it from wanting to close. Do this all three more times. Press. Resist it up. And lean ever so slightly forward, but not so much that your toes have to grip. Good. And now press it down to stay. You're going to bend your elbows towards your hips three times. In one. In two, in three, push it down, and now walk once with your arms straight. I'll say it again, head heavy. Press it down, stay there, pump the pedal. In one, in two, in three, now pressing down. 
Now roll up, just combine a little bit as you press down. Come three times. In, in, in. Straight arms resist. Do that one more time. And resist all of that. Flip the arms over your head to come up. And circle them down by your side. Good. How about that? Good. All right, so from here, we're going to go up to some swans. So step around to the back of the chair. Facing the doorway, you're going to come onto your belly, hands on the paddle, legs behind you. Good. And then we'll just probably around the edge of the chair. Push the paddle all the way down and find the floor. Very good. Legs slightly apart, hips are finding the seat. You're going to bend the elbows in once to you. Push it down and then lift up the chest. Good. Lower it down. Bend the elbows in once. Feel the spring. Use the spring to lift you up. Beautiful. Three more times. And use your abdominals with the springs as well. So relax your spine on this one. Just a little bit deeper. And if that doesn't make sense, that's okay. Good. One more time. Good. Push the pillow down just to take a breath. And then you lift the pillow up this time. Go ahead and step off the back of the chair very carefully. And do it. Let's practice the reverse swan. I'm gonna turn the chair around. <laughs> and then you're gonna float your legs up so you're a little bit balanced, and then you're gonna let your hands reach back to find the pedal. Straight or straight back. Straight fingertips forward. Yeah. Good. Now I'm here spelling this, no worries. <laughs> so we're gonna bring the legs to diamond leg. Heels together, knees very soft. You're gonna think of a roll back. You're gonna start to roll your waist back and push the pedal down actually. And back up. Now come up for a second and slide your hips forward so you're almost at the front of the chair and you're a little more safe that way too. Good. So when you're ready, you're going to just press the pedal down by rolling the pelvis, the waist back, and then use the pedal to lift you back up. So we're down very far. Not very far, not very good. Good. Roll back, press, resist, and roll up. Three more times. Just try to let your toes relax in the air a little bit. Good. One more time. Shake the spine. Now as you lift the pedal back up, close it, and try to reach your fingertips out towards your toes. One at a time. So for those of you who one hand off each of your toes, other hand off each of your toes, lift up. Good. And then go ahead and step your feet down and step off from there. Good time. We're going up front. combination of mountain climber. So you're going to stand again, step to the frame of the chair, hands are on the seat just to prepare. One foot is going to step the pedal all the way down, and the other foot is going to step right up so the toes have the back of the seat. Okay. Now keep the pedal down, lift your back heel up, and then start to stand up tall with your arms reaching for where the ceiling meets the wall. And for a moment just find your balance, find your heel, and then you're gonna float the pedal all the way up, or at least high as you can without hitting your head on the ceiling. <laughs> and then push the pedal back down. We're gonna try to keep that back leg pretty straight with a high heel. So very active thigh movement. Good. Now belly button leads the way. Three more times. Think of that back heel pulling you up while the ball of the foot raises the pedal down. One more time. Pause here for a second. You're going to lift the pillow back up one more time and then lower it halfway. Take your hands around this knee so you're making a little cup. Yeah, exactly. And now round over the thigh. Good. 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 So these hands are here to keep the knee steady. You're going to bend your back leg in all the way over the seat and then push it back. Come out. Good. And really round over the knee. Really stabilize it with your arms and now move this leg. Eight, seven, in. All the way. All the way. Push. Five. Two, and carefully lower the pedal, hands to the seat, both legs. Keep the pedal down, and when you're ready, rise up. There should be some weight into that ball of the foot. And then when you're ready, navel first. We go up, two, three, and then raise up. Good. Try to find your heels. Even though the back heel's lifted, use it to help stabilize you. Four more. Oh, 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 o
lift up one more time to set up for mountain climber. You're gonna lower the pedal halfway, round over your front leg, stabilizing your knee. Good. Really pull your belly, bend and push up. And push. Good. So this, these hands are really easy stabilizing that hip. I know. Good. Push, pull, push, pull. Use your arms. Take up into this spot. Four. All the way in. All the way in. I know it's burned, right? Two. And then lower the pedal, right? pedal carefully. Good. Step that foot all the way to the floor. Carefully lift the pedal up. Good chair today, right? <laughs> All right, let's finish with some standing up. I'm going to have you just come standing here looking out the window. Just hold the arm weights by your sides, heels together, and toes apart. Let's start with a zip up. So you're going to bring the weights together in front of you. And as you are zipping up a jacket, you're going to pull the weights up, sternum to chin. Abdominals come with you as I pull the zip up, and then raise this down to keep the abdominals zipped. If you're zipping up a jacket from pubic bone to sternum to chin, and then ease. One more time. Taking all the information gathered, finishing with some arm work. And then on the last two, lifting up those shoulder blades, pulling. And stay here and separate the weights so they're facing inward. So that comfortable press of the heels together that gives you a sense of center. And just start to circle the arms in as if you're hugging the abdominals. And then they travel up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And they travel down. Eight. In the first direction, sorry, there's really Good. All the way to here. And they travel back up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then reverse. Hug, hug, hug. Two more sets. And as if you're really working the weights to work the abdominals, no bobbing arms, shoulder blades. Good. One more set. And we'll use your back in, 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 in. Great. Rest the arms down by your sides. Let's bring the weights in front of you for hug a tree. Elbows up, shoulders soft. Now pull the weights apart like they're magnets, and then resist. Now, as the arms pull apart, the abdominals stay zipped together. And then the compression helps keep those elbows lifted if you can. Good. And now the arms don't have to travel behind you, right? Press them into my hands. Good. No. Resist. <laughs> Good. Bring to come together, let your arms rest for a second, and I'm going to bring the weights to the forehead for high salute. Good. From here, you're going to press the weights up toward the diagonal, let your whole body kind of lean in with it, and then resist and try to dive through the triangle at your hand. Press, and then dive to the weights instead of them coming back to you. Pull yourself up. Step two more. And the hook behind your belly button. Oh, yeah. Good. And let your arms rest down. And then to finish, separate your heels. Pitch halfway forward, knees very soft. Bring the arms by your sides, slightly up or higher than the ribs. And then bend the elbows. And kind of squeeze in together and then push the fists through the bow. Bend. And one. Four more times, just really feeling the work along the back of the arms. All the wrists just really nice and connected. Good. On the last one, let your arms come to the floor. Soften your knees, let your head dangle completely. Take a moment to roll your spine up, lower spine, middle spine, upper spine. We'll just do that one more time in reverse. Chin to chest, soften the knees. And let your body spill forward, head heavy, arms heavy, ribs heavy. Stop about there halfway. Let your body drape for a second there. Take a big breath. Good. And then start to roll up lower spine, middle spine, upper spine. Let your head come up and you're all done. Good.